Hi everybody and welcome to this tutorial on um, AutoPanel video. Today I'm going to show you how to mask a tripod on a static shot using a JPEG patch and some masking. Um, so we have here a time lapse that we did in Quebec. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is uh, fix the blending and go into sharp because we're going to be using masks later on and the masks only work with the sharp blending. So I'm going to click here on apply and close my input videos. And I'm also going to make sure that my color correction is on power because I want the um, mask I'm going to do and the patch I'm going to apply to blend smoothly into my Equiwork Tangler. So now I can go on click and edit and this will open APG for me. And there it is. And the thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the old pano so I have my tripod right in the center of the frame here and I'm gonna crop right around the, the tripod using the cropping tool here and ideally what you want is a square that is dead centered because it's gonna make the importing the image back so much easier afterwards um, from experience for this one I know that I can use a field of view that is 80 so that's minus 40 to 40 and same thing here to minus 40 that's fairly big but I'm gonna have I can work with that so I'm gonna apply that here and last thing I'm gonna change and go into a rectal rectilinear view, a planar view in the English version, um, which makes sure that I have no um, I have no distortion on the center of my image. And now I can render this image here. That's full quality, and I'm gonna call it patch. <laughs> render okay so now I have my patch that I can open in Photoshop that's right here and in Photoshop I'm gonna select using the lasso and this works really well on these kind of backgrounds with really grass and all these kinds of uniform backgrounds and I'm gonna do edit fill and use the content where fill okay and select now I can save the patch using maximum quality okay And now I'm back into APG and I'm gonna import the patch using here. Add images. So now my patch is here and I'm gonna just make sure that the field of view is proper is the proper one. And I know that I used minus 40 to 40 as a square, so I know that my field of view is 80. That's it. So I know that now my patch is perfectly blended with the equi rectangular I was working with, with the video. Um, now what I want to do is that maybe I have some people who are going to be working closer to the rig uh, during the video, so I don't want anything missing from the bottom of the, from the bottom of the video, and it's gonna make the immersion better if the bottom of the video and the light changes too so we want the area to be as small as possible the, the one that is masked so what I'm gonna do is go back to a spherical view 
two necro rectangular and um, then I'm gonna go and first go with complete sphere in the cropping tool and then I'm gonna go and use the masks so that's why we were working earlier um, and what I want to do is just keep the parts where the tripod is in my patch so I'm gonna go and select if you find it difficult to select you can use the scrolling you can scroll with your mouse to switch between images so yeah roughly I'm gonna change this here then here uh, like that you can go back and forth between your images to make sure that you're actually patching everything you need because what you're gonna do after that is go and sure that you keep as much of the other images as possible so you can pretty much do it like that and now what you see is that the patched area is really only the tripod so now what I can do is just apply the masks and then move my old panel back and save and that's it my tripod has disappeared here <laughs>